many human resource departments evaluate their training by how many people have gone to how many programs, which is an interesting metric if you think about it. Uh, or, you know, or slightly better, but not much, what my friends at USA, the large insurance company, refer to as happy sheets. So at the end of the training program, you know, you fill out these sheets, like at the end of my course, which I teach at Stanford, which is on power, which we're not talking about tonight, but it's a great class, called the Pass to Power. You know, they fill out these sheets about whether or not they liked the course, whether they were sufficiently entertained, whether they learned anything, whether I was prepared, I don't know, whatever, whether the donuts were good, whatever, whatever they evaluate, whether the sugar was fine or whatever. Um, the problem with happy sheets is that, of course, they do not measure whether or not behavior has changed. It doesn't measure whether or not anything was learned. It just measures whether or not you had a good time. Uh, and sometimes I tell people all the time, particularly when I do executive seminars, that if you're too happy, I probably haven't done a very good job. Because education is, in fact, about making people uncomfortable. If you think about what the, what the, what the whole purpose of education is, it's, 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 in fact, to challenge your beliefs. I mean, you feel, you feel much more comfortable, of course, nodding your head and saying, oh, yes, I agree with all of that. But as my friend Bob Sutton says all the time, if two people agree all the time, one of them is redundant. And, uh, <laughs> which is, by the way, right. I mean, you know, two people agree all, all the time, one of them is redundant. You don't need two people. So, um, so one of the ways of, in fact, evaluating how well organizational change and interventions are, are going is, I think, a, a successful organizational intervention ought to, in fact, diminish the gap between the collective knowledge held inside the organization and the people's in that organization ability to actually turn that knowledge into action.